This video is a simple instructional guide to installing your perfectly warm floating floor heating system. It is a flexible radiant heating film that is installed below floating floor materials to create warm, comfortable floors providing either supplementary or primary heat. Before installing your perfectly warm floating floor heat product, please read the installation instruction manual. If you are unsure of any of the instructions, please contact our technical helpline at 800-922-9276 or 508-291-2000 and we will be happy to assist you. You will require the following accessories to complete the installation. 1. Perfectly warm under floating floor heating system and its attached factory connections and installation manual. 2. A polyester vapor barrier and foam insulation. 3. A thermostat control with floor limit sensor. 4. Adhesive tape and Romex wire. 5. Captain insulating discs. 6. Junction boxes and the necessary installation tools. 7. An ohm meter. These components work together to create a system that will provide comfortable, trouble free heating. Designing your heating system. When designing the heating system, care must be taken to ensure that proper clearance is maintained from fixtures which may be part of the floor. Heating panels must be installed so that they will not be covered even in part by decorative trim, baseboards, or other structures on the floor. Electrical wiring in the floor other than that for the heating system, must be at least two inches away from the heating panels and or separated from the heating panels by insulation or the building structure. It is good practice to plan your installation using a sketch, marking your layout pattern and planning the positions for floor sensor, electrical mains connection, and thermostat. Use the sketch within the installation manual as a guide. Job Site Preparation Before work can proceed, all electrical wiring that will not be accessible after installation of the heating system must be completed. Thoroughly clean the existing floor area of any objects. Lay the underlayment foam or insulation sheet, making sure to cover the whole floor. Tape the long edges using adhesive tape. Insert the floor limit sensor conduit into the previously prepared recess in the floor and tape into position. Installation Preparing the heating element If you are installing cut the length elements, you first need to prepare them for use. Cut elements to length. Using the diagram you made earlier, cut the heating element to length using scissors. Cut only through the clear area between the heating stripes. Never cut closer than one quarter inch to the heating stripes and do not cut into the heating stripes themselves. Insulate the cut ends of the bus bars opposite the connectors with Captain discs. The perfectly warm floating floor heat film can be positioned in place and simply rolled out to provide maximum floor coverage according to your design layout. Leave a minimum 2 inch gap from wall. The installed heating panel surface should be smooth and free from any ripples or creases. Firmly attach the heating elements to the floor. Installing the junction boxes. 1. Install a junction box for the thermostat control device, according to the manufacturer's instructions. This box should be located unobstructed on an inside wall 
so that the device reads accurately. 2. Install a 4x4-inch junction box for making the electrical connections between the elements and the thermostat. 3. Notch or drill the plate directly beneath the junction boxes to allow proper routing of the non-heating leads. Connect the elements. Route the wires to the junction box provided for the thermostat. Tape the floor sensor to the underlayment in an area at least two inches from any heated black part of the heating panel. Route the sensor lead to the thermostat junction box. Inspection, testing, and completion. A visual and electrical check must be performed on the heating panels prior to activation. Always check with your laminate manufacturer for any restrictions and or requirements that they have concerning the use of their product in conjunction with floor warming systems. Visual Inspection When visually checking the perfectly warm floating floor heating panels, look for any signs of damage, wear, or scratching that might have occurred during the installation. Conduct an electrical test. For conducting a resistance check across the supply leads, use an accurate ohmmeter in order to detect any short or open circuits. When testing for heating, install control devices and connect to the electrical panel box. Install and wire the control device, according to the manufacturer's instructions, in the junction box. Turn on the breaker and adjust the thermostat so that it is calling for heat. After the system has been on for several minutes, run your hand over the heating panels to ensure that they are warm. If the elements do not become warm, double check all wiring and re-perform the electrical tests above. Fill out and complete your documentation. The checklist and system registration card records vital information about the installation you have just made and must be filled out in full. Return the bottom copy to register the installation. The other two copies are for the homeowner and the installing contractor, respectively. The operating manual lists detailed information about the heating system. To complete the final installation, Attach system labels. The small label must be attached to each thermostat controlling a heated floor. The large label must be attached to the breaker box and the circuit number of each circuit breaker controlling a heated floor noted. Reperform the electrical testing to ensure that the elements have not been damaged during installation process. To finish the installation, the heating panel must be covered with a polyester vapor barrier to provide optimum moisture and additional mechanical and electrical protection. Simply roll out the vapor barrier across the entire floor. Cut to length and overlap adjacent pieces by a minimum of 4 inches. Seal a layer of polyethylene vapor barrier with duct tape over the floor surface including the heating element and wiring. The installation is now ready to receive the final floor covering. Avoid any unnecessary foot traffic over the area until the final floor covering is laid. Turn on power at the breaker box, set the thermostat, and enjoy warm, comfortable floors.